Hey everyone, I got another weather application for the iPad to review today. Today we're going to be taking a look at WX Radar. And basically what this is, is kind of a, uh, I'd say it's more of a weather application geared towards maybe amateur meteor meteorologists or people interested in uh, radar images specifically. Because that's all this application has to offer. But it has a lot of images, you know, that you can look at. So basically, what it does is you open it up, and if you have a GPS, you know, enabled iPad, so a 3G version, it's going to open up your um, radar image for your current location. So that's what it's done here. It's opened up the uh, base reflectivity radar image for my area. So basically what we can do is um, you know, zoom in to get a better uh, idea of what's going on to our area. And you could obviously, you can animate the uh, image. I guess there's saying there's something wrong with my network. Alright, so now we're back into it. Um, so basically, like I said, you can uh, go in and zoom in to the, the particular radar image that's on the screen. And then you have the option of switching the different uh, overlay or uh, different information that the radar image is actually going to show. So previously we are just looking at the base reflectivity image and then this is the composite reflectivity image. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is. Um, here's another base reflectivity or exactly how to read them because some of them have you know different colors, different shades, and it doesn't give you a uh, a key that shows what each color stands for. So that's a little confusing. But I imagine if you know what these uh, uh, these colors stand for, it'd actually be rather useful. Here we can see a one-hour storm total image. Again, I mean I don't know what you know exactly the colors uh, stand for it. I assume the darker the color the more the rainfall but it doesn't show you uh, exactly how much um, rainfall is associated to what color so there's that one we have a uh, storm total image um, we have a vertical or vertically integrated liquid uh, overlay which is basically going to show you um, the amount of uh, water vapor associated to a particular area in a thunderstorm so you know the darker the color the, the more uh, precipitation or the more uh, liquid that's associated with that part of the uh, storm then we have echo tops I believe what this one shows is uh, the height of a particular storm cloud so uh once that loads it'll show you but um i don't know what's going on i guess it's just saying that it's showing me an older image which is okay so basically we have those are the options for the uh radar images that you can view for a particular location now if you want to change your location you have two options you can go up to a uh the search button you can put in any zip code, state, city, and you can get the corresponding map for that area. Or you can go to kind of a drill down menu that's going to allow you to scroll through different states. And um, here we go to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bring up the image for that. And you know, you could select different areas that way. And then to ref to refresh a particular image, you'll click the refresh button, and it shows you down here the uh, the date and time that this image is uh, taking. So you kind of know how recent it is if you're trying to monitor a particular storm. And up here we have a little uh, preferences icon. If I can hit it, now this gives you just two options. It gives you the option to uh, set the user experience level I have it on advanced if you put it on basic I'm not exactly sure 
okay it just takes away some of the uh, map options so it leaves you with the radar one hour totals and storm totals and then you can go back to advanced then you have a uh, graphics level I have it on normal I imagine express is a uh, less um, you know lesser quality or you can reset um, the settings and removed any cached images that have been stored by the application to kind of speed stuff up a little bit. So there you have it. That's a quick overview of WX Radar for the iPad. Um, it's kind of a, a neat application for you know a particular niche. It's kind of a it's only for those that are truly interested in you know different types of radar images associated with uh, you know weather in their location or around the country so if you are interested in you know detailed radar images or you know perhaps a you know amateur meteorologist this would be a exciting application to have um, allowing you to to look at the most current uh, detailed radar images so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the review um, please like comment subscribe stay tuned for more application reviews